<laughs> what were like the biggest uh, challenges maybe going from something that's not predetermined to something that is predetermined? And, mm. I mean, still incredibly, if not more physical, getting glass in your leg. Um, it's, it's physical in a different way. Like fighting is definitely, the stress from fighting is much, much more, you know? It's like, I could get in a random fight, someone could walk into this room right now and I'll beat the fuck out of anyone in this planet, you know? But it's the, the training camp and the weeks leading up to it and the press and just like going to sleep every night thinking about it and all those things, like that's like the real wear and tear, I feel like, not the, the physical part of it so much and of course like, you know, fights, you, you you just assume, okay, I'm gonna give myself at least a month to recover after that. Mm -hmm. So it's like, it's a peaking system. You allow yourself to peak and crash. With WWE, it's just a grind and it's nonstop. And I did like the easy version, like everyone else does like 300 days a year. Their bodies don't get to rest as much as ours in MMA, but their minds get to rest a lot more than we do in MMA. I feel like there's just, there's no pressure on anything. The only thing that compares to the mental strain in MMA is the Olympics. Interesting. Yeah, that's the one highest, because you train your whole life and you have one day for all of your training and all of your hard work to pay off. It was all for nothing. Right. You can get another fight in a couple months. So nothing compares to that. And so I think I went from like the highest stress possible to like less and less. Um, WrestleMania. Yes. When you first started um, your year with the organization, was that on the radar? When I first came to the organization, like I was like, hey, I'd really like to do this for a couple months. We're gonna have a baby soon. So you know, this isn't forever. Um, but my one request is like when we first start, I want to finish my storyline with Stephanie. And so that was, that was my right request because I love Stephanie McMahon so much, which is so funny because we're supposed to hate each other's right, guys. Yeah, exactly. I love her. I'm like, really? oh my God, I love her so much. <laughs> oh God, it's so great to get that out. <laughs> okay. All right. Chess, I love all of the girls so much. Oh my God. And it's like this big secret and I had to like keep it in so people could enjoy themselves, but I love them. It was just an incredible experience. Like Triple H like taught me how to lace up my boots. Like he literally w was like, oh no, you want to do this from, like from the outside in so that way that like, I'm like, Triple H is showing me how to lace up my boots. Yeah. Like how can I not succeed in this situation when I have all of the best people in this business all set in place to help me succeed? I would be ashamed of myself if I couldn't exceed in every expectation. People didn't like it all the time, but it was fun for me. <laughs> and you made more history. And I mean, women headlining WrestleMania. Yeah, it was great, huh? That was fun. It was really great. It and was like, so great. Did it feel huge to you? Uh, yeah, it, it felt big. It's just, I think it just has to do with the time and the perspective. Like, me and Liz Carmouche felt bigger to me. This is a gigantic cultural moment. This is not just a moment for Ronda Rousey. This is a, a moment for women's sports, period. She's Run looking for it. To get it. Wow. First round armbar finish for the champion, Ronda Rousey. Even though it was years ago when not as many people watched and it was in the Honda Center, which maybe holds maybe like 16 to 20,000 compared to WrestleMania where it was in front of like 80,000 people and you know millions of people watching. I just felt like me and Carmouche was the most like pivotal moment or that everything had to happen that way or else women's MMA would have ended before it started, you know? And um, with WrestleMania, it just felt like all the stars were aligned and the whole universe was conspiring for us to succeed and I had not a single doubt in my mind that we would, but for like Carmouche, it was so many outside factors of like the numbers had to do well and I had to win the match, but I had to win the match in like an exciting way and like there were just so many other different factors that I had to worry about and I feel like the, the stakes were like higher in a way, even though the venue and the audience was smaller. Were you nervous your first wrestling gig? Yeah, nervous, but I mean, after fighting, it's like, I feel like I get to enjoy wrestling so much more than everybody else because I've just maxed out on like pressure. The kind of moments like this past WrestleMania, that main event, that moment was like the most high pressure, high stakes, fucking crazy moment that Charlotte and Becky have ever been in in their lives. And I was just like, I love WrestleMania, you know what I mean? I'm like, oh, look at me, we're gonna have a great day, and like, we have a great match, and nice to see you guys, you know? First ever woman's name at WrestleMania, woo! So they're all like, oh my God, I wanna do a good job, and I'm like, Joe Jet's here, okay? 
that's awesome. She's so cool. Oh my God, I cannot believe, like, you know, like, have, like, moments to yourself, like, I don't even know if this is real life right now. I'm, like, standing on top of the ramp at WrestleMania, and Joan Jett's, like, playing their guitar, and she looks at me, and she's like, yeah. And I'm like, yeah. Yeah, like, how can you not be, like, totally kicked out? No wonder I broke my hand. Joan Jett just nodded at me, okay? She was playing bad <laughs> reputation, looked at me, <laughs> nodded in my direction, like, go get that shit, Rhonda. And I'm like, I'm gonna go hit somebody so hard and break my hand. <laughs> Because <laughs> I love Joan Jett. That is and it's a WrestleMania. Yes! I mean, they pulled out all the stops. You, you know, if there's any time to go big and go home, it's WrestleMania. For so. real.